The Interstate 3990 interchange with Wisconsin Highway 11, locally known as Avalon Road, will be reconstructed as part of the I-3990 improvements taking place between now and 2021. Located just south of Janesville, the existing interchange has a standard diamond configuration. Existing traffic patterns of this location include a very high volume of left turns. A diverging diamond interchange, also known as a DDI, is proposed for this location to efficiently handle the high volume of left turns. DDIs allow free-flowing turns when entering and exiting the interstate, eliminating the left turn against oncoming traffic. To accomplish this, traffic temporarily moves to the opposite side of the road as it passes through the interchange. When driving a DDI, motorists proceed through a traffic signal at the entrance to the interchange and simply follow their lane to the opposite side of the highway. Traffic signals, pavement markings, overhead signs, and raised concrete islands will help guide you through the interchange. Both directions of traffic drive on the opposite side of the road before crossing back and resuming their original pattern similar to a one-way street. Motorists driving east on Highway 11 and intending to head north on I-3990 towards Janesville would drive straight to the first traffic signal. As you approach the signal, notice the lane markings and the signing directing you where to go. Notice traffic from the opposite direction approaching on your right. A diverging diamond interchange is easy for passenger cars as well as large trucks and oversized vehicles to navigate. When the signal turns green, proceed straight ahead and follow the lane markings. Once over the bridge, exit to the left onto I-3990 towards Janesville from the left lane. There are no left turn conflicts in a diverging diamond interchange. For drivers wishing to travel straight through the interchange, Simply stay in your lane and follow the lane markings and overhead signs. Similar to a standard interchange, no lane changes or turns are needed. When you approach the signal and it turns green, drive straight through and proceed across the bridge to the second signalized intersection. When you're in between the ramp terminals, it will feel as if you are on a one-way street. As you drive through the interchange, notice traffic turning left onto or from Highway 11 does not need to cross traffic traveling in the opposite direction. This configuration is a clear safety advantage of a diverging diamond interchange. To enter southbound I-3990 from the west, drive in the right lane and follow the pavement markings and signing directing you onto the ramp towards Beloit. This movement is similar to that at a standard diamond interchange. The purple line demonstrates the path that pedestrians would take to navigate the DDI. Pedestrians use the marked crosswalks at signalized intersections and then the walkway and sidewalk on the north bridge to cross the interstate. All street crossings are shorter than at a standard interchange. The yellow lines demonstrate the path that bikes would take to ride through the interchange. Bicyclists will stay to the right side of the road in the designated bike lane as they would on any roadway. In summary, the Diverging Diamond Interchange is the best choice for the intersection of I-3990 and Highway 11. This configuration simplifies left turn movements, is easy to navigate, and improves safety for roadway users. The interchange is pedestrian and bike friendly and provides better traffic operations than a standard diamond interchange. For more information on the I-3990 project, visit www.i39-90.wi.gov.